What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're coming at you guys with a gym update today. I promised you I would, and now finally, here we are. So if you guys remember our last gym update, well, it was actually like an introduction video of presenting our space to you guys. <laughs> if you guys missed the first video, I'll totally link it up here. It was just basically an empty gym tour of the space that we found. It is a commercial space that we're renting out for our own gym, all right? To be able to make content in, work out every day, you know how it is. The very first video was the empty room, unpainted, untouched, looking like shit. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> but now it's look at I. We're halfway there. We got walls painted. We got our flooring installed by us. <laughs> and we got mirrors. So it's starting to finally look like a freaking gym. I'm really excited. My heart's going pit a pat. And now we're just waiting on the equipment. So, so I just want to take you guys around and share with you what we got going on so far, why we did what we did, all that good stuff in case you're somebody who's thinking about doing the same or know somebody who's doing it. I want this video to be helpful for you, okay? We got some insights. We learned a lot so far. So I want to share it with you. So before we get into it, definitely hit that subscribe button. It'll make my day, because we do have the final gym reveal coming soon once this equipment comes. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so when you first come in this door, this is the first thing you see right here. We got a little $20 cheap AF little coat hanger wardrobe rack right here, just to store our shoes and our things like that. You know how it is, see you bae. <laughs> we also, put in curtains here. We were gonna get uh, blinds actually installed, but commercial grade blinds, they wanted like thousands and I wasn't prepared for that. So we hit up Lowe's. We hit up Lowe's. And just like that. There you go. Privacy. That's all we need. Just a little natural light coming in, nothing crazy, uh, but it sure beats out. Like this is not our permanent space. We plan on bringing everything with us in our future house. So this is just temporary. We didn't need those crazy ass blinds, man. Come on, man. So the very first thing that we did was paint the whole place. I'm talking floors, I'm talking ceilings, and I'm talking walls. <laughs> so if you guys remember from the last video, half of this wall was like a weird gray and the other half was like kind of white. <laughs> so we had my dad come in and he painted the whole thing just a plain white, kind of open it up keep it neutral and start from scratch type of thing. These ceilings, the grids in the ceilings were so nasty before. Now they're like white. We painted the grids white with the same paint as the walls. And beforehand, they were like a dingy yellow. So anyways, um, so we gotta you know clean that up and we did that. Um, Daddy's idea. Then he actually painted the entire flooring before we got our rubber flooring in. He did a fresh cone of paint and he put liquid Lysol in it, mixed it around so that there's like a, like a bleach solution underneath so that nothing grows. There's no molds, there's no nasties. God forbid we get a little like flood in here or something, nothing's gonna grow. So we have no surprises when we lift up this rubber flooring. He kept it nice and safe for us. Daddy for the win. So I'm getting a lot of questions on what lighting we're using, like what TikTok strip lights, and it's the brand Kiko. You can find them on Amazon. So we pretty much, they just tape right on. We bordered the whole lower part of the gym, right above the molding, just because I need to match my outfit and I need to make it feel like a club. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to match it with the outfit of the, why is it not matching my outfit of the day? Damn, damn, damn. Okay, so now that we're matching, I can move on. Um, yeah, so these are really inexpensive. Check them out, I'll have them linked if you want because I've been getting a lot of questions on which TikTok lights these are. I'm pretty sure that my favorite part so far of this whole gym is the TikTok lights. Between you and I, I like to come here on a Saturday night, turn the lights off, and just boogie. Like straight up, 90s boogie, 80s, you name it. We have a party here. Yo guys, watch this, right? Yeah. Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, oh. So this is all our leftover flooring right here. <laughs> this is no joke, so freaking heavy. It is pure rubber. Oh my, it's heavy. So we got our rubber flooring. It's commercial grade. We got it from Kodiak Sports. This was not cheap straight up, like this was 
one of the most expensive parts of this gym, believe it or not. They had a lot to choose from, but we wanted to get the really light gray. This is the lightest gray that they had available. We got samples from a few different brands, but Kodiak Sports had the color that we were looking for. We wanted that super light flooring, kind of make the place look a little bit airy, a little bit breathable. You know, for a smaller gym space, we wanted it to look as open as possible. So we wanted everything as light as possible. So if you look really closely, it's light gray with little tiny speckles of white and black. So we really love it. It came in beautifully. It was a bish to install though. Oh, it was not easy, but installation for any type of commercial grade flooring is such a expensive route to take and they wanted to cement everything down, which we didn't want to do anyway, because we do plan on removing things one day. They came in on this big ass crate six massive like spools what would you call that like big toilet paper paper towel rolls they were so heavy but bay oh the macho man he is he did it somehow he got it in here somehow <laughs> you definitely need a dolly or something to help you out something with wheels very heavy when we installed it it was just me and bay who lined it up and they were so heavy to move that i pretty much like threw my back out like three or four times <laughs> then the actual cutting to actually have it fit the corners and stuff was done by Bay and my dad. So, yeah. It's a little fudged up when you look up close. Um, don't get it twisted. We gave it the good old college try. But you know what? Let me tell you something. I don't care. <laughs> Over here in the corner, we have our little supplement station slash food prep it. <laughs> Cause the girls gotta eat. When I'm here, I plan to work for hours. So, you know, I gotta eat. You know, I gotta eat that grub in between or else I get real hangry and Bay doesn't like that. So yeah, this is just our supplements. We got microwave, you know, just to kind of hold us over while we're here. You know, it's our workspace. We gotta do that. Yo, what's with that plant though? Oh girl, mm. check it out. You think it's a plant and that's Christmas. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, it's off season, but guess what? That's a freaking hand sanitizer. Oh yeah. Oh. Mm. No telling. No telling. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Okay, so we got wall to wall mirrors on this side. This is the entrance way side. We chose this side over the other side originally. And if you remember in our last video, we wanted to put it on that side. I think it would look beautiful. You got your big picture window, A-OK. -okay. But what was funny is my brother actually came in when before the mirrors were installed and he said to us, he, the first thing he said when he walked in was, you're putting the mirrors on this side, right? And I went, no, actually, we we're gonna put it on that side. He goes, why would you do that when you can easily have your heavy duty machinery kind of tucked back and not in your face when you first walk in? And then just have this as like the dumbbells, the mirror, and plus there's only one outlet on this side. If you guys are considering doing something like this, go with the wall that has the least outlets. See, we got one outlet here and about one, two, three, four, five or six on this side. So keep in mind when you get mirrors they kind of they have to go above here so we have a pretty high one the mirrors would have been very high on this side they can cut it out for you but we didn't want to mess around with that you know what i mean that just sounds overly complicated and no <laughs> we ended up going with a local company to install called superior shower doors so they do this kind of stuff and they did a great job we only needed three large mirrors for this wall and it came to a perfect length because right here in the corner it's going to be our cable machine so we wanna make sure that it comes out right here where you can actually still see yourself working in the mirror here, tricep extensions. I wanna be able to mm, really see what I'm doing. So originally this is where the machines were gonna go, but now this is where our free weight's gonna go because you need to be in front of a mirror when you lift in free weight, okay, obviously. So like I said, cable machine's gonna be in the corner. It's one of those corner cable machines. Then right here, we're thinking our fixed barbells we're gonna have. Then this slab of mirror right in the middle is gonna be our Smith machine. Then over here on this first slab of mirror is gonna be our dumbbell rack. You know what I mean? Free weight just all together. Makes things make sense, I think. These are just our temporary weights for right now. Things that we had, all our little free weights for now, but some of this stuff is totally gonna stay out, like the kettlebells, and things like the plates, obviously. Other things like these little baby dumbbells probably get stored away, give it to family. I don't know, we're gonna figure that out. We definitely wanna get more of these plants and sprinkle them around. We want a lot of greenery in here, right? We want it light, bright, 
like fairy, like a cloud. Like you're just breathing in a cloud of fresh air and we want that like real earthy vibe. Right here, we're gonna have our back extension. And then over here, we're gonna have the row machine. It's a two in one. It's a row machine and a pull down in one. So that's gonna go right here. I figured it'd fit really nice around this little corner because you have that long window. It'll flow nicely. Then we will have our leg extension that turns into a hamstring curl, kind you lay down with. Um, so that'll go right alongside of it. We are still contemplating whether we want to get a treadmill. I think I want to get a treadmill. So all that long kind of long equipment's going to go right here. And then we are going to have a little bit of extra space. So I'm thinking of kind of for now, unless we fill it up with more equipment one day, I'm thinking about kind of keeping it as a stretching yoga, calisthenic kind of have some medicine bowls and things like that. You know, lightweight stuff where we could just kind of feel ourselves maybe. Yeah, bottom line, we didn't want to over clutter because we want to keep it still a little bit open and carefree feeling. Plus this is not our permanent forever spot. So we want to kind of keep it simple here and just the basic necessities that we always used at a gym when we paid a membership, we wanted to incorporate here, so. So yeah, from here, we just wait for our equipment. It's coming in two orders actually. So the 18th will be our first order, it'll be half of it, mostly free weights. Then the second half, we still have to get scheduled, but uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping by this time next month, we have a full-fledged functional gym space. I'm so excited, I can't even freaking, mm, I can't tell you, man. Okay guys, so lastly, this whole space right here in between the windows and the entrance, is pretty much just gonna be all our, our tech stuff, honestly. Lighting, and, you know, not so fun things. And I'm definitely, definitely keeping this floating mirror here in case I need to take it around town in this gym and do selfies from different angles. Girl, you always gotta keep a head like that. You gotta think like that in this game. All right guys, so that is it. That is our little gym update. Floors, lighting, mirrors, paint. That's halfway done so far. Just the equipment. It's a slow one, but like I said before, we are getting things customized. We are getting all the upholstery, a dove gray, and then white framing. So it's just gonna flow, hopefully, and match everything really nice. So yeah, we're waiting on that. A lot of equipment is back ordered. It's been a hot minute, and I'm ready for it. Like, come on now. Again, we did go with Life Fitness. It's a pretty big brand. Again, we did go with Life Fitness, so um, it's a really good, reputable brand. You probably see them at like Planet Fitness and things like that. Really good for commercial grade uh, equipment. If you are somebody considering Life Fitness though, I do wanna mention that to have it for your own personal use, like how we are in this space, they do make you pay like everything cash up front. So that was the only like, oh man, kind of thing. Like you can't really make payments or do anything like that. So keep that in mind. And, um, but other than that, they've been really great. Customer service has been awesome. So it's definitely a good reputable brand to go with, good warranty and things like that. Keep your equipment nice long-term type of thing. All right guys, so we are gonna go ahead and actually get a workout in with the equipment we have, which is, damn, is it running its course? Like I'm over this, I need my freaking equipment right now. But nevertheless, gotta do what you gotta do. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, feel free to just comment them down below, all right? This is a process and I want you guys to learn a little thing or two in case you're looking to do the same. Thank you guys for watching. We will catch you in our next video. Bye.